My name is Mark Simpson. So I was actually born in Bombay, India uh, to a mom and dad that I never knew. I was given up for adoption. I had a physical disability that caused my legs not to fully grow out. Uh, and just due to that, uh, it caused a lot of problems over the years. I was adopted when I was two and a half years old uh, by an American family who at the time lived in Florida. In that process of being uh, an individual who had a disability, um, I also went through periods of wondering what did God actually have planned for me. Uh, I've been told by various people, you know, you'll never make it in life, you know, you, you're not going to really amount to much. And I thought for the longest time that I really was not meant for anything. I had been raised in a Christian home all my life. I knew about Jesus. I knew about God. I basically just wanted my free ticket to heaven. It wasn't until I was 15 years old that life, life changed. Um, because when I was 15 years old, I actually tried to commit suicide. I just figured that life would be a whole lot easier without Mark Simpson. And yet, in the middle of me doing that, um, I had my first real experience with God. And I remember a voice that I can't explain other than God's voice coming through to me saying, you don't want to do that. And so when I was 17 years old, I made the decision to have my legs amputated. And I remember laying in that recovery bed thinking, okay, God, what now? What do you have for me now? How am I going to praise you when I have no legs? And I remember God kind of reaching down and saying, you know what, I got you. Three weeks after my amputation, uh, I was asked to be the poster child uh, for Shriners Hospital. And I got to go around and speak to various people groups, encouraging them to give money to the hospital. And that kind of kick-started my speaking career. And I started leaning more into what God, what God's Word said. Uh, going back to Jeremiah 29, 11, where, you know, he says, For I know the plans I have for you. When I first read that verse, I thought, well, if God really knows what the plans that He has for me, what do I have to lose by just letting go and letting God? It wasn't until 2009 that I actually stepped foot on Liberty University's campus not really knowing what God had planned for me. In the process of finishing up my undergrad, uh, I met a beautiful young lady and I proposed to her and uh, we actually got married just a couple weeks ago. I used to ask God, why did you do this to me? Instead, I now ask them, what opportunities are you trying to give me uh, to point other people to you? Because that's the main thing. Whatever circumstances that people may be in, they need to stop asking why and start asking what.